Hi, my name is Matt and I work for Digital Guardian as a Solutions Architect. I'm putting together this video to demonstrate the power and capability that Digital Guardian has over controlling your data, ensuring your data is protected and that your critical assets remain your critical assets and don't become public property out on the internet. Now, Digital Guardian offers unparalleled protection, controls and prevents data loss. Now, it doesn't matter to us whether that's accidental data loss or malicious data loss. The fact is Digital Guardian is watching your data, your critical assets, and we put the controls in place to ensure that those assets remain yours. Now, in this video demonstration, I'm going to act as a user. I'm a user who's resigned. I'm looking to move to a competitor, and I know that as a company, we've got lots of sensitive data on a SharePoint site. I'm going to take that data down from SharePoint. I'm going to bring it to my local machine. I'm then going to perform some manipulation of that data to try and trick the system. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is rename the file. I'm then going to change the extension. Once I've changed the extension, I'm going to copy that data across to my photographs folder. Once it's in my photographs folder, I'm then going to grab a whole load of data, including other photographs. I'm going to compress that information using WinRAR. I'm then going to password protect that file. Once it's password protected, I'm going to go one step further. That further step is going to be opening the file in hex editor. I'm going to use hex editor to strip out the header and footer. They're going to save the file. And then I'm going to see how I can go about trying to exfiltrate that data. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up SharePoint and I'm going to download a document. Now, let's have a look around here. I can see something called PII, personally identifiable information. Something here called employee data. So let's take a copy of the employee data. I'll bring it down to my local machine. I've saved it to my downloads folder. And we can see here that this is the file we're looking for. Let's have a quick look inside to see what it contains. Now I suspect it will be all the information of the employees. We've got first name, last name, social security numbers, address, and postcode. Some really good information here and there's many, many records. The next stage is to rename the file. Let's call it picture. Once I've renamed the file, let's go one step further and I'm going to rename the extension to JPEG. So now we have an XLS document that looks like a JPEG. I'm going to copy that picture into my pictures folder. I now have a load of normal photographs as well as this document that we've manipulated. The next stage will be to select all those documents and add it to a compressed file which is called pictures.rar. We can see here I have the pictures that I've selected along with the renamed XLS document. Let's add a password to that file. In this example I'll use a simple password. It doesn't matter what sort of password you use. The fact is we've compressed the file and now we've password protected that file. Now the final stage, let's open the file up in a hex editing tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to further manipulate the file. I'm going to look at chopping off the top and the bottom, removing the header and the footer of this document to try and trick the system. So I'm going to grab a few lines of code. We can see here it's compressed. I've got the name of the file. I'm going to delete the header and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'll equally delete the footer as well. Now the aim of this is to try and strip out any tags or anything that's been put in place by Digital Guardian. And we'll save the changes to the picture file. So just to recap, I've browsed to the corporate share on SharePoint. I've found a folder called PII, Personal Identifiable Information. I've copied down a file, Employee Data. I've taken that file, I've renamed the file, I've changed the extension of the file. I've moved it into my pictures. I've grabbed a whole load of pictures along with the file I've manipulated. I've added that to a raw compression file. I've then password protected that compression file. And then I've opened it up in hex editor and I've stripped out the header and footer and then saved the file. Now that we've gone to all that hard work to try and mask that data, let's try and exfiltrate that data now. Let's try and get it off the system into our own control. So first of all, let's try the corporate email. So I'm going to open Outlook. I'm going to create a new email. I'm going to send it to my personal account. In this case, it's my Gmail account. Now, 
Now I've named the subject of the email and the body. And I'm going to go and browse to my file. I'm going to insert the file. Now we can see the file's been inserted into the email. Now let's hit send and see if we can get that file out of the system. Now this is where Digital Guardian really comes into its own. Digital Guardian still has the capability of recognizing the fact that the file downloaded from SharePoint was a company confidential file. Now that file itself should never leave the corporation. It doesn't matter how much the user manipulates the data, Digital Guardian has the capability to track that file from every change made to that file, doesn't matter whether we're renaming, compressing, or stripping the header and footer, Digital Guardian has full visibility of the life cycle of that file and then places the controls around that file. So we can see here, I've been warned that I've attempted to email classified documents, in this case, pictures.ra, externally. The action violates corporate policy and I've been prompted, if I wish, to click here to review the corporate data security policy. Now, the only thing I can do is hit close. There's no complete, there's nothing. You can have the user require justification if you wish. Let's close this email down and let's try a different method. I'm now going to look at Gmail. So I've opened my browser. I've gone to my, my Google Mail account. I'm going to compose. And in this instance, we're going to try attaching the same file to Gmail. And again, Digital Guardian sees the fact that the file has been classified in the first instance. And again, it's not letting me copy that file up to Gmail. You can see here, attachment failed. Now there's one more mechanism I'm going to try today. I'm going to try and get the data out via Dropbox. I'm going to do this in both ways. One is via the, the web page. And in this instance, I'm going to upload and I'll choose the file. Again, it's our raw picture file. And again, Digital Guardian stepped in, recognized the fact that the file's been classified and it's prohibited me from uploading. As a final test, let's try it through the local Dropbox application. I'll take my pictures.rar file, I'll drag it over to Dropbox locally with the hope that when the local cache syncs with the cloud, the data can go up. But again, Digital Guardian is there to protect data movement at every egress point. Doesn't matter how the user tries to take the data out, doesn't matter the privileges that user has, the fact is the originating data was classified, a permanent perpetual tag was added to that data, doesn't matter how the data is manipulated, Digital Guardian is there to protect your corporate assets from leaving an organization.